Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? I'm Mario here once again. And I'm Buttercup here, aka the toughest one of all of the Powerpuff Girls series. And yes, welcome back to more of the Demuxi Toys videos. I wonder. Never mind, those guys were definitely up to no good. Enemies detected 200 meters ahead. Initiating battle Hey guys, mode. wait for me! Cool city. Our top priority is Eggman. Don't forget that. No time to waste. You're too serious, Omega. So anyways, welcome back to more last play of Sonic Heroes for the Nintendo GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC version. So, at least it's specifically on Sonic Heroes Team Dark Story. So, yeah, last time we actually did manage to explore the Seaside Hill, Ocean Palace, and Grand Metropolis, and Power Plant. And also we beat the likes of the Air Clark and even Team Chaotix as far as the team battles concerned. So today for this episode we're about to continue on and move on into the fifth stage for Team Dark, and that was the form of Casino Park. So yeah, I believe every now and then they start to now add in too many Eggman's robots onto these pinball machines this time around, as some have started to how it does in Team Sonic Story that it seems is more likely plain and simple, so. As you might expect it, that the level layout is going to be exactly like how it does in Team Sonic's story, but except the fact that it's going to be a little bit more different, because obviously they're now uh, and they're now and start to actually put in too many Eggman's robots on here, so that's one thing you need to clarify for this point and onwards, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and just fly towards this little dice, um, dice block thing right here, so that means we can actually instantly try to reach up to this point here, and kill this little um, golden um, turtle right there, so that means we can instantly manage to get ourselves a little bit of a combo for, um, you know, when it comes to hitting those, um, you know, Eggman's robots to begin with. So, I believe if you head on to the right, then it gives you, like, exactly 20 rings. So, even then, there we go. So, I'll say yet another extra one up. So, I'll quite more to delve for anyway, because we're pretty much almost at the halfway point of um, Team Dark Story, and especially those of all, and we're pretty much in the, almost in the halfway point of the entirety of Sonic Heroes Let's Play. But even none of that, um, that's as far as memory is concerned. Oh yeah, you can actually use the Thunder Shoot while we're actually just about to attack those Eggman's robots while they're on the pinball machine. That's actually kind of convenient. But anyway, now let's go ahead and just switch to um, Bruce right there, if only if Shadows decide to take a break on that little pinball machine table. Yeah, in case if you probably don't know that at this point already, folks, is that um, basically what happens was, though, is that this is actually the, our second attempt with this recording section. Uh, what happens was, though, is the fact that um, not so much of how it usually happens in during the upper videos ago, but more so to how it does it when we actually did um, spend most of the time enjoying the pinball physics and all that stuff when we actually did manage to do the, the first attempt on that recording session that the, the first attempt on that particular part was actually gone deadly wrong. That's only because of that we actually managed to waste our time on that pinball um, um, sections in this level in particular. So that's why we're going to be doing this um, recording session again. But uh, thankfully though we don't actually come across into an auto saving system. If we did though, however, then obviously we'll, we'll lose our progressioning. So, all right, we got ourselves knuckleses. So even then though, that we actually got ourselves 60 rings. So even then though, not too bad, not too shabby. And so even then though, that's all there is to really think about. So yeah, um, as you expected, that there's going to be a lot of emphasis on ring grinding this time. So even then though, that uh, even though we already uh, mentioned about the um, the um, casino uh, casino park level already from um, Team Sonic segments, and even then though, there's nothing else different about it besides you know that there's going to be a lot of Eggman's robots involved in the pinball machine as opposed to uh, just you know plain um, pinball table as some of so for Team Sonic's version throughout. So. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get ourselves our lovely checkpoint, so we need to actually let Shadow get up to level 3. And then every once in a while, then we can actually use our Team Blast attack, so I don't think there's actually a way we can actually get up to that little uh, special pinball table, which is using the uh, VIP uh, type of table. I have no idea how you're supposed to get to that um, that staircase over there, even though I'll definitely need to find this out during a later time. So anyways, let's kill these whole volunteer robots, even though that's 
not much else we can say, so... And besides the fact that I'm pretty sure this level's got roughly the same length as some of so how it does it in Team Sonic's and Virgin. Well, besides they actually add in a lot more robots to be involved, so... Yeah, as far as I can see for this part, so... Come on, press the switch, or pull the switch, I should say. There we go. So that means we can actually, uh, purposely, try to actually proceed to this part, so... And let's just kill these robots in the process, and we actually got ourselves- Ooh! Lovely! And let's see how much rings we can probably should get- try to get, and let's see how much rings- Oh, right! We got ourselves exactly 300 rings! Hmm, not bad for that small rings department right there, so I believe this will definitely have to be the A rank on this level, because obviously that's, um... So far, we did not die on this little pinball physics and all that stuff, which is a good thing. And also, judging by the fact that we actually got exactly 300 rings, and also we constantly getting ourselves our Perfect continuous always. points for leveling ups for those spe specific character types. But even then, now that we actually did this in a flawless run, so yeah. 26 emblems. So even then, now that we can actually previously try to notice something like this. Anyways, next stage we have is Bingo Highway, aka my favorite level in the entire game. So, hopefully it's going to be a hell of a lot more um, bingo action going on here, so even though there's not much else we can just say something here. You know, besides the fact that they actually now add in a lot of um, Eggman's robots in the pinball machine, as I mentioned this earlier, but even then, no, there's going to be a lot of Eggman's robots destruction going on, so... Yeah, as far as memories concerned, that's all there is to know about Team Dark's um, story segment, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and just switch to Omega real quickly, and... How in the world did we actually teleport it over there? Okay, so definitely a little bit of a, uh, a bonus C right there. So even though I know that we can actually purposely try to make it to this part right here without any sort of uh, emergence. So anyway, so we got ourselves. Oh, you can't actually just try to kill them when they're, when they're standing onto those fanboys. And at this point, there's no way we can actually get ourselves our special stage key on this level because obviously we've already obtained that key ourselves on, on Team Sonic's playthrough. So even then, though. No, that um, hopefully we can actually get ourselves the, um, the, you know, usual last two chaos symbols as far as the Team Dark story is concerned, so at least we'll just have to find this out. But again, the only difficult part about gaining the special stage 6 on um, during uh, the Mystic Mansion level is the fact that these ghosts, in this case these jackal Latin ghosts, will actually catch you off guard, which is always a little bit too distracting. It was especially noticeable in the ending section in um, Team Sonic story, so you can then know. Because it's hope if it doesn't usually happen in Team Dark story, I was working for. Anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves our lovely checkpoint right there, so it actually contains, you know, the level up and all that stuff for Shadow. Alright, so let's get ourselves a whole bunch of rings and all that stuff. Oh, wow, that's actually a nice little um, number combo. This actually kind of feels more likely a convenience to me. So anyways, let's go ahead and just... Slide down a little quickly, and most we actually obtain seven here. And I don't think there's actually a way to get ourselves a number. Oh, okay, we got an eight though at least. And the only two missing numbers, which are two and six. So that's the thing is because uh, we actually overshoot the um, two because we somehow gain a three instead, and also we managed to uh, miss out the um, number six. So oh well, nothing can go wrong about it though. But anyway though. So yeah, we're still in the, um, the somewhat a little bit too much of a weird of this little voice going on here. That's only because uh, we still practically got ourselves a little bit of a blockage nose. So even then, though, that we will eventually try to actually fix that problem up until in a later time. So anyway, there's going to be a, quite a few things we're going to be discussing for you guys. Is that um, tomorrow, perhaps after this video is actually going to be released, as you probably guys should probably already know, the next Nintendo Switch game wasn't going to be released until tomorrow, and um, I'm presuming in an international release or something like that, which is called Ultra Street Fighter 2, um, new, uh, the final... Uh, I kept on thinking of the Super Nintendo game, which was the Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers for the Super Nintendo. But it's usually called it Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, which is... It kind of reminds me like I was um, watching the um, the HD uh, remake version of um, Super Street Fighter 2 on the Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network all over again, except the fact that it's on Nintendo Switch consoles, so you can know 
I'm assuming that um, that game does have a little bit of a mixed bag between these two reviews and all that stuff. Um, there's nothing, anything new about Street, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, besides the fact that it's more likely exactly like how it does in the previous uh, version of the entire game. Uh, there's no point for actually just to get to deal out with this little uh, metal variation of these egg flippers. So even though know that we can actually instantly use the Chaos Control ability, so even though we can instantly just try to freeze everything up. And what makes it a little bit weird is that if you actually use the, um, the Team Blast attack, if you actually just manage to use that when you have the Invincibility um, theme on, um, however though, the Invincibility theme just stops, so even though no, that's all that was kind of weird though, kind of thing about it. Anyways, uh, as we expected, that we need to actually just be very, very, very careful you don't want to fall down to the bottom of the spear, because if you do, then obviously... Oh wow, we actually did teleport it all the way from here. So anyways, uh, we can hopefully try to get our number 3 onto this point right there, especially noticeable with how we've been trying to actually be master with this pinball physics and all that stuff, so even that, now I'm pretty sure that's as well as just getting on, so... Oh, uh, there we go, not too bad. Uh, it's it's really possible to get number 5, because sometimes it's more accurately... There's going to be way too much emphasis on balancing skills, so the only two numbers we actually missed out on is actually both 5 and 6. Because um, 5 is really impossible to get or obtain, and as for 6, um, basically that time um, we actually did go ridiculously fast, so... That's what we probably expected at this point in time, so... Seriously, there's quite a lot of Eggman's robots involved, so anyways, let's go ahead and switch between Rouge about here, so just in case if we manage to kill these, a whole bunch of um, heavy, um, you know, the metal variation of this little, you know... Okay, so let's go ahead and just... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, darn it, we actually got hit by this little, um, Eggman's robots there, so that's a little bit too much of its, um, mind of its own problem. So anyway, um, as far as the um, Ultra Street Fighter 2, um, the final challenge is, I might still consider trying to get it, but even though no, there's one little downside that a lot of people seem to actually complain about, and that was the, um, the exclusive mode, only exclusive to the, um, the, um, the um, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenger, which is heavily uh, based on motion controls, but they saw two Joy-Cons at the same time, so I think this is generally the weakest part of the game for me, just only because of that. I heard that a lot of um, uh, reviewers seem to think about the, um, sometimes the, uh, the motion controls doesn't seem to work enough, while other times it does attempt to, but a lot of times, most likely though, it will not able to responsible enough, so... That's as far as memory is concerned, that's all that's really going for here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just bounce all the way up here, so just in case if we actually go onto this final um, uh, bingo um, highway um, table right there, so just in case if we actually get ourselves... Hopefully we'll try to get as large numbers as you probably can, but I'm not exactly sure 100% though, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and just uh, get ourselves number one just about roughly over there. And hopefully we can actually get ourselves number two if we actually go all the way back from that part right there. Which is usually that's probably the case. So even then now. Oh, how come those two carriers have been out? Oh, done it! Alright, let's try that again. So hopefully we can actually just manage to bypass this little bumper right there. Because uh, trust me when we say this, do not trust that bumper. Because obviously if you get attached to the bumper, then you obviously you lose. So you just have to be very cautious. So yeah, I don't think in any way we can get we can actually get ourselves number four right there. Oh no 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 no! Oh, you that was close. Thankfully, we did not die right there. So you probably couldn't tell already that uh, our timer is actually a little bit waste of time until roughly nine minutes or so, because when we actually try to deal with these Eggman's robots yet again, I have no idea where the last one is going to be at. Well, what I've noticed something rather the bad though is that one of these Eggman's robots managed to actually decide all these little egg pawns managed to actually fall down into that specific um, step, which that's the only thing we actually did manage to waste our time on this particular section, so that's a little bit of a dumb thing in my part, so anyway, let's go ahead and just not to fall down from here. So, unfortunately though, Rouge is out of the ring, so even then though, let's go ahead and just be very cautious and be very careful with the controls and all that stuff, so... Yeah, don't be too surprised of how the fact that if you think about you're trying to survive from this pinball table to begin with, but a lot of times you will purposely try to fail on these, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and just deal with this egg flipper right there. And I don't think we can get, we can get ourselves number six. So even though no, I'm not sure exactly sure we can get seven. So we'll, at least we'll take an A and a nine. So only one bigger in this case. So 
Actually, let's go ahead and just fling all the way over there. So just in case if we actually get ourselves into this little spring right there, which actually leads you to the end of the level automatically. In this case, the final true this finale of this bingo round. table. So I always got ourselves two and three, five, six, and seven, eight, and nine. So the only two missing numbers are one and four. So, unfortunately though, since we died by this little uh, uh, bumper flipper right there, that means we get ourselves a pretty bad rank, which should be the E rank. I couldn't even beat Gamma or Beta. Huh, looks like Omega did actually reference something from Psych Adventure 1 for both considerably the E100 series robots, which is E102 Gamma and E101 Beta, ever since back in the, um, for the likes at the end of E1, E12, uh, forget it. Doctor. Tell me, Doctor, what was I doing? Asleep on that base? And what about my memory? Your memory? <laughs> what memory? You have no past to remember. What? Well, I believe our time is up. I'll see you again soon. Get there. Wait, Doctor. You first, General. You have to fight him. Numerous targets detected inside perimeter. Prepare to enter. Alright, so we meet again with the robot carnivore, but even that is pretty much exactly like how it does in Team Sonic's version, except the fact that they now actually added a hell of a lot more enemies involved. So even then though, there's gonna be a lot of times on this little enemy endurance run for Team um, Dark most likely. It's gonna make it a little bit longer and a little bit tougher at the same time, so it's a bit like a mishmash between those two elements. So, anyways, let's go ahead and just constantly using our thunder shoot by the likes of Rouge the Bat, so just in case if we manage to get ourselves a whopping 2,000 combo of these little score counts. So even then, no, then we pretty much guarantee what this is going. So, anyway, let's just go ahead and just keep on doing this really, really quickly. So just in case if we manage to, um, you know, just trying to actually do this or something, something like that. So, anyways, um, let's go ahead and use our chaos control power. So just in case if we manage to use that purposely. So, yeah, not too shabby right there. But even then, uh, this level wasn't as hard as it used to be, so, you know, I can't believe we actually didn't manage to die on that, um, you know, for that last bingo table due to the fact that we accidentally just, you know, touched this little, um, flipper right there, which I think is probably my fault for that department, because, um, I always thought that it was going to be making me so safe, but a lot of times I kept on getting some several mistakes. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and touch this little bloom right there, even though it might be a little bit too ready to actually do this to comfort, like, you know, just try to actually save this um, Team Blast balloon until for later. But even though no, we accidentally smashed and grab it by accident. So, anyway, let's just use our uh, Team Blast, or in this case, Chaos Control yet again, so just in case we very much to proceed. What's weird about it, if you actually use the Chaos Control ability on a specific um, level like this, it's about that as you can probably tell that Dr. Rakeman is actually going to be hovering around the arena from time to time to see how they were actually just about to deal with his, um, his robots and mine. But even then though, as soon as you use the Chaos Control into this specific um, um, arena battle, that um, somehow Eggman just decides to freeze. So yeah, that makes a little bit more that sense logical side of things. So anyways, let's go ahead and just use our last Team Blast and we'll eventually end off the Robot Carnival. So well, this might be actually be the last segment. So yeah. Oh, don't you mean Eggman? Um, two boys, which are consist of Shadow and Omega, but the only exception is Rouge, because Rouge is actually a female, so... Yeah, it makes it more common sense. <laughs> Worthless pieces of junk. And conveniently enough, though, we got ourselves a lovely A rank. Yeah, not that bad. Not bad, actually. So it was now we move on into stage 7, which was Rail Cannon find the entrance to Eggman's base. So, it's gonna be a lot of rail grinding going on. Yeah, exactly. Eggman energy detected. Ground base up ahead. I wonder what the doctor really meant. We must capture him first. Let's go. Alright, so well the bad though is that when you start off this level in particular, is that this particular sequence is actually a little bit more longer compared to Sonic's counterpart, is that we immediately got into, although we will explain more on that later, but even then though, that you're about to be, uh, um, I believe the same the same goes to how it does it when we get into Team Chaotic's playthrough. But even then though, there, we will take some to this specific location, so woohoo! Uh, I don't think that was actually a way to get us also rainbow ranks. But even then though, this is the only part that we actually did manage to start things off from Team Sonic's version of this rail cannon level, so... 
That's as far as memory is concerned, that's all there is the only difference between Team Sonic's version, especially in Team Dark Story, so... Yeah, that's all there is to really say about this here. So yeah, a few things I want to mention also is the fact that uh, recently there's going to be quite a few days to go until, as you expect, there's going to be an E3 press conference, or in this case, just um, most likely for Sony, but I don't know for Nintendo, because even then, though, Nintendo's going to be showing case off these um, announced games that are about to come and join this year, so even then, though, especially upon releasing on 2017 sometime, while other times in some other games they'll be coming until 2018, so even then, though, we'll find this out until that time comes. So anyways, let's go ahead and just, you know, hop into rail to rail, so even then that we can pretty much expect how this level's going, so... Actually, we might as well do this particular, uh, level, uh, level theme right here before we actually end this video off, because obviously that we've got plenty of time to actually do so. In fact, the majority of, um, Team Dark Stories, as far as the, um, the, uh, minutes limitations, is gonna be most likely 30 or more minutes, so... Yeah, I expected this might be actually a little bit more longer compared to a dozen Team Sonic's counterpart, but still. Anyways, and besides the fact that we're actually completely skipping over to these um, special stations yet again, because obviously, yeah. Oh yeah, if you usually use the Chaos Control onto a specific um, section, like this little train sequence, for example, uh, you manage to realize that these little um, armored trains um, type of um, obstacles, they manage to go solidly frozen. So even then, though, that's the best thing you might actually come by until you have to use that ability to begin with. Whilst if you've managed to breeze for this stage without any sort of um, distractions at one point, so... Yeah, as far as this, uh, this is concerned, that's all there's to really going for this point, as far as this point in time. Another thing is worth mentioning, though, is that one thing we haven't mentioned about this in during the, uh, um, did we mention this in the, um, during the, um, the Team Sonic's playthrough on this? Um, I don't think so, especially in the first part of the Team Dark story. Um, there's actually a secondary uh, mission after you wait, after when you actually finish up these uh, main missions of the game. Specifically, it depends on what teams you actually be using. Like for instance, in Team Sonic Story, that uh, what the other uh, secondary missions involve is the time limit based, which is more accurately uh, beat the level with a certain amount of time limit. So if you beat the level within a certain amount of time limit, then the mission is complete. And I believe if you manage to let the timer go into zero, then basically I pretty sure you have to redo the whole level again. Similar to it does in the time attack mode sequence in um, Draining Crush Bandicoot 3 and um, Rapid Cortex. And I'm not sure that Twin Sanity, because I haven't really touched upon Twin Sanity for quite some time. Because um, unfortunately though, we haven't exactly played on that on the original Xbox um, console, so... I think the only console we actually did play out on here was actually the Xbox 360, however, because even then though, now, every now and then we actually got onto the Xbox Live now, so even then though, that we actually got managed to go on to do so. Even though it's better late than ever, I suppose, but even then though, it's a lot more expected to see how this is going, so... Anyways, let's just go ahead and just fly towards it. Whoa! Uh, come on, let's see if we can make it to that little red tunnel at the top. So yeah, there's actually a little bit of a shortcut, you can actually bypass this little rail um, grinding segment, so we can simply just actually hop onto here, and then basically you should be able to be safe as long as you actually just to be paying attention to your feet, so... Yeah, that's as far as this is concerned, that's all there is to really say about this little shortcut, if you are to actually just to take that pathway. So yeah, that's all I can say about this here, besides the fact that, um, oh yeah, and this, um, the secondary mission for Team Dark though, however, is going to be a lot of involving food, um, enemy destruction, which, um, every time you finish the regular mission, that, um, you're basically going to be dealing with the extra mission. What the extra mission involves is to kill a certain amount of enemies, which I believe you can only, um, kill, like, uh, 100 enemies. However, though, you don't have to necessarily, um, defeat them all. You can just simply just actually just to kill as many of them as you can, so... And after when you've done that, um... One thing I haven't mentioned about this, or actually I think Daffy and Sylvester haven't mentioned about this in during the Sonic Adventure Battle, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Let's Play, that in some missions, like for instance collecting 100 rings and all that stuff, um, eventually if you manage to lose one of those rings in the, um, some of these specific levels, like for instance the treasure hunting levels for example for Rouge or Knuckles, if you manage to lose all of your rings, then a gold ring actually managed to appear, which, instead of saying goal, instead it's actually saying back, which this means you have to go all the way back into the beginning part when you start the level up. I think this also same applies to this game as well, if you do not kill a certain amount of enemies in during time, like 100 enemies for, instance, for example. Especially the, um, the secondary mission and the Team Rose, but we'll explain more on that until we actually get into their team. 
So, we even end up, it gets like this little, uh, um, red arrow, so that means we have to go all the way back to the beginning of the level. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, though. Perfect as and yet again, we got ourselves a yet another glorious A rank. So far, so good on this episode, though. Yeah, so much better than how it does it on, um, during the, uh, the Grand Metropolis level, and especially the Bingo Highway, because, you know, there's some other times we actually did accidentally died. Anyways, the next level we have is Bullet Station Annihilates Bakeman's Base. It's starting to look like a base. Here we go! And much like how it does in real canon, we start things off with a little bit of an extensive beginning part, which is usually kind of a cool thing. And I believe also, judging by the fact that when we, when we eventually get into Team Rose, that um, I believe you'll we'll actually start things off on this particular section as well, which again, we will eventually get towards that until we get into that team until all during the um, after we finish off with Team Dark Story first. So, that's as far as I was concerned about this, so you know. Anyways, let's go ahead and just take down this egg band or egg pods, so that just in case if we actually take down this shield up. And yeah, I believe we're going to be starting to actually deal with this first cannon at the very start of the level, which is kind of more likely the opposite between Team Sonic's version, because we usually start things off while well, just simply just get into this little black wall train and all that stuff, so even then, no, that's all there is to really say about this here, though, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and just to kill these whole bunch of egg pawns, so you know. And just like um, last time that we're actually going to be doing with um, just trying to actually just slightly move the unblock stick. Oh, we can actually get ourselves a level up orbs there. So even though know that we can actually instantly manage to get ourselves some of these characters a little bit more tapped and more stronger. So that should be good to go for this little department right there. So even though know there's not much else anything too much of an issue. So anyway, let's go ahead and just try to actually kill him no problem. So even though know that we can actually instantly just try to actually just... Uh, Proceed to the not proceed to the next part of the level. So, anyway, it's triangle jump, uh, um, jump, or triangle jump, I should say. Uh, what happens was, though, as you can see on this little footage right now. Oh goodness gracious me! Uh, you can also perform a homing attack at the same time when you're actually trying to deal with this triangle jump. Uh, if you manage to like, I'm assuming if you press the B button, if you actually don't manage to continuously doing the on um, the triangle jump to begin with. Uh, what happens was though is that if you actually just press the A button when you're actually trying to perform a homing attack onto that specific um, Eggman's robot, specifically on that section as you saw from earlier ago, uh, what happens was though is that you can actually perform a homing attack right from the start. So yeah, uh, one thing you may actually know something about the bat though is that uh, the light speed dash is being completely unlocked from the start, unlike what it does in Psych Adventure 1 and especially Psych Adventure 2. Uh, what happens was though, you have to purposely try to actually find a light speed dash just to be, just from the start. So, until you actually just a zip through rings. So, that's as far as members goes, that's all there is to say. So, anyways, let's take down this little um, egg pond while simply this hyper- Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and use our team blast right now. Seriously, what's up with these all- a whole bunch of um, team blast attacks we constantly be using for this whole entire time. Okay, if we need to press the switch on the upper section of this particular uh, rail um, changing switch, until we actually just to proceed to the next part of the level, as you expected. Uh, let's go ahead and give our level 3 for Shadow, Stephen Endo. I presume the only character just level up and needs next and now is actually forming off um, Omega, so even that, that we've pretty much gone through the level 3 of those specific characters, though, so... Yeah, that's how it usually works and goes. See, I'm quite surprised, though, too, is the fact that um, we're pretty much almost towards the end of May already, so even though no, no, there's not much else for um, new Let's Plays on that specific month, that's only because of the um, how the fact that we need to actually try to actually get these specific Let's Plays done and over with before we actually move on to the next. So, yeah, that's as far as I was concerned about this. So, I uh, kind of wish I was trying to actually get that balloon over there, but unfortunately I missed that out. Anyways, let's take down this instant shield right there, so just in case if we manage to deal with to do so. I believe the only diff- another noticeable difference between the Team- um, Team Sonic's version, as well, especially noticeable in Team Dark's segment on this specific level like this, uh, what every now and then, I believe they might actually add in a lot more spike balls involved. Whoa! You're this way just me. Jeez, we almost died on this specific, um, balance beam section. Even though, no, we actually got through that, no problem. 
as far as this is concerned. So anyway, let's go ahead and deal with this little capsule right there. So I guess there's not much else we can say about this point, ladies and gentlemen, for um, this particular um, uh, video related stuff, as well as especially the news update and all that stuff, besides the fact that we're getting really close to the um, the E3 uh, convention for, um, you know, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony departments, so... But even then though, though um, I, I don't know, I don't know what, how much days we actually got left right now, so even then though, we'll just have to double check. Oh yeah, for this specific, specific section, every now and then, they start to now add in the spike balls, and so that makes it a little bit more harder to dodge. But even then though, it should be easy as long as you pay attention to the screen, so... Yeah, that's all this is really say about this section, basically. Cannon sure came in handy. Yeah, but a bit scary. We even have no rules, it doesn't usually act out like I think my heart starts, unlike Knuckles and Kinder, so. Yeah, anyway, though, um, I believe we actually got ourselves, uh, I don't know what, how much days we got left about, just about right now. I'm pretty sure it's more accurately, uh, 19 days to go. So, even then, though, we're pretty much going close towards it, so. Especially for the noticeable sex, um, it, it's actually pretty noticeable in some of these uh, P3 um, stuff, more accurately in the Nintendo but, um, stuff, so... I don't really think we can actually deal with this egg part right there, especially that fan blade was actually in our way. But even though, no, we'll just hopefully try to bypass him, so... Even though, no, it's entirely optional if you want to defeat those certain enemies and all that stuff, so it's still usually involved. Oh yeah, one thing you might actually know something rough about though is that you can actually also manage to destroy this little squishy contraption's traps. And in order to actually do this is that you need to actually use Omega. So if you use Omega or these power type characters to begin with, they should be able to work and it should completely destroy it. So, and it's another level that we don't need to actually get ourselves a special stage key again because obviously we've already gotten that since Team Sonic story. So we're going to be constantly saying that for the whole entire premise of this story in particular. So. Because again, there's not much else, anything different about it, besides we're actually going to be uh, just doing a hell of a lot more Eggman's robots just to begin with, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and just hold me attack onto this specific timing spot, so just in case we do manage to do so. And destroy this little blue core, and we can deal with a bluff bobsledge section, so... Let's just hope if this level wasn't exactly, uh, or this specific section wasn't nearly as hard as Team Sonic's version, but even then, though, I think the only difference is now is that they now add in some spike balls, which are very, very simple and easy to spot, because, um, unlike lasers, though, however, it's really easy to actually miss, um, the, uh, timing of jump until you actually realize that, um, the, the red laser gaze can sometimes can go really visible at some points, so... Uh, let's just hope if we get us a new record here! Come on! Yay! We even know, no, we already gone through every single level up for these specific characters that are coming from the Valley Bottom Cup. Oh yeah, that was probably my bad. So anyway, so let's go ahead and go grinding all the way up to the top, so just in case if we manage to actually do something like this. And hopefully we can actually just uh, press every single lever, especially the switches in that department. Oh yeah, I still even remember when we actually got to this point with Team Sonic. Um, somehow we've accidentally almost trying to fling ourselves all the way at the end of a level, which is... Kind of a more likely the weird thing though, but anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, so let's go to to deal with these last three robots in addition to this little 10 rings bonus rings, and eventually we'll end that level just as that. So yeah, that's as far as I was going to be concerned about this though, and every once in a while, some additional items if you can't be bothered to actually get them all, but even then that's all I said. So before we actually end the level off, is that we need to get ourselves our rings bonus right there, specifically only 20 of them. So that means we can instantly manage to actually just use to get ourselves our team blast attack eventually. So yeah, let's grab ourselves our level up orb right there, so... Yeah, there's no point for doing this light speed dash in this specific section, unlike Team Sonic. But there we go, that's it for bullet stations. I'm pretty sure we did that pretty well enough, kind of thing about it. Which still, that's pretty much as how you expect it. Not bad at all, if I do say so for myself here. Alright, so I believe we're now going to be refight against with um, Egg Albatross yet again, but this time for the likes of Team Dark Story, as I mentioned this earlier. So, I don't think there's anything else different about it. So, besides, you know, the different um, sections for these robots. We got him! Capture him first. Then you can have your revenge, Omega. Affirmative. Ready all cannon! Open fire! We have to get it. No matter what. Alright. Okay. 
Alright, so just like last time, we're going to have to be constantly be doing a homing attack chain onto those diff uh, three different sections until you actually beat this thing uh, twice as quick as it used to be, so even then, uh, no need to actually use our bundle shirt at the same time, too. So, yeah, if you think if you actually try to deal the damage of um, egg albatross, just be sure you don't it accidentally just move your control stick, because if you do accidentally, then you're obviously going to actually go all the way down to the oblivion down below, so you can always have to be very cautious at points. So, yeah, as far as I was expecting, this is the instant see this one going. Yeah, I apologize for the slow, uh, um, Dalek has gone a little bit too messy at one point, but even then, no, there's all else, nothing else to talk about, so... Okay, so now we need to deal with the air cog uh, yet again, so even then, no, but this time that, you know, it's going automated too, so there's no point for stopping. So yeah, for the most part that, you know, this particular balance is exactly like how it does in Team Sonic's counterpart, but besides the fact... Whoa! Goodness gracious me! We almost go into a die right there, because if we do die, then we have to redo the whole sequence again, which is not that particularly fun for me, so... Anyway... Pay for this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for um, Egg Albatross. So I'm assuming that we actually get ourselves a definition of the A rank, so that's probably number one true. So yeah, that's all I can say about this here, so you know... Did you forget who I am, Doctor? So yeah, let's join us next time, and let's play Sonic Heroes. It's the fact that we're moving on into Frog Forest, so see you guys then. Later, fellas.